I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. So here we are back where we were before. Things are ever changing. We're back to being strangers. Wondering if we ought to stay or head on out the door. Wait a minute. I did do my best. And I think my best is pretty good. This is a special shout out tonight to Honky Savage and Cowboy Gold. To let them know that I have not left the reservation. I'm just long silver. But I still love gold. I do. I love gold. Tigers. Mmm. Skittles in focus. South Korean tiger. Quarter ounce. Love those. Quarter ounce St. George slays a dragon from the Russian Federation Bank. Hey, let's get that M1 up there. Yes, the Russian Federation Bank. All right. Perth Mint. War in the Pacific. And some more War in the Pacific. Okay. Wedge Tails. Kookaburras, you guys remember those from one of my videos. And from the Holy Land Mint, the Dove of Peace. And that is a fractional rotisserie um, dispenser there. Very, very cool. From the Holy Land Mint. All right. Of course, uh, Mabel Graham from the Royal Canadian Mint. I love myself some RCM. You guys know that. And we've got it all here. We've got Chi Woos, Silver Chi Woos. I mean, I'm sorry, Gold Chi Woos. My bad. Uh, more Chi Woos, Gold Tigers. His Guardians, Gallus and Canis. I thought I had another Canis, but hmm, maybe I didn't. Anyway, moving along. Perth Mint, Argo Horaeus. Argo Horaeus, one ounce, Lunar Coins. Well, not Lunar Coins, these are Apollo 11 Coins. As you can see there, the uh, 2.5 gram multi, uh, multi 2.5 gram Pamp. Um, 5 gram Year of the Mouse Pamp, gold. More 2.5s, more um, Apollo Argo Horaeus and a very special Scottsdale Mint 5-ounce um, gold piece. And then all across the line, more of these guys, usual suspects. <gasps> are those quarter-ounce pandas? No, they're not. They are They are 15-gram pandas. They're 200 yen, okay? 2010 gold American Eagle, 10th tenth. And then, of course, these little one gram pamps, along with who? The Monkey King! And the Monkey King says, guys, this thing isn't going to hold us down very long at all. Pretty soon, we're going to contract a ship with who? Silver Seas. Silver Sea Cruise Lines. We're going to contract a ship, and all of us stackers, just YouTube stackers, we're going to get together, man, and we're going to party, because we will have the capital to do that. Look, we're not trying to thrive at other people's expense. We already paid the expense when we started stacking, okay? Don't ever let anybody make you feel guilty about that. We were prudent, and if you were prudent with this, you were probably prudent with a lot of other things, meaning you're not those people waiting in line for toilet paper, right? But this is the good stuff, man. This is the good stuff. And for those of you that aren't into fractional gold stacking, I'm going to tell you something. You're missing out, man, especially right now with the gold price the way it is. And um, you can get, you know, um, just about anything right now in gold. It's just silvers is hard to get because the silver price is so low. People are actually turning in their gold or trading their gold for silver so there's plenty of gold to be had but you don't have to go buck wild and get something like this you know 10 gram dispenser or even like a half an ounce like these pandas you can go ahead and you can get something like these grams these are one gram pant bars they're completely assayed look at these look at these now they're assayed they've got serial numbers on them okay and you can get these individually you can buy these but I got to tell you, they retail for about 70 bucks, even though the spot price for gold is only uh, 1500 an ounce. Is it even 1500 an ounce right now? Yeah, 1500 an ounce, or maybe 14 and change. You um, can get these for about 65, 70 bucks a piece. So you can go very low and still get yourself some nice fractional gold. It just takes time. Now, you know, I spent a lot of money over the years and whatnot. You know, I had a bunch of bigger gold pieces, but after a while, you know, I was like, you know, I've done so well on fractional gold. I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, get rid of the big pieces. And trade those against silver, and that's how I got my huge silver position. But never, ever, ever discount fractional gold. And I'll tell you why. Because in a world, in a world where people think precious metals are only gold, fractional gold was the rule of the day. Now, 
Fractional gold is, you know, the gut reaction for a lot of people that come in new to precious metals. Not necessarily stackers, but people that are going to start to realize, let me go ahead and grab a seat here, um, that money is actually going to be this durable stuff right here, not the paper stuff we're using right now. By the way, the dollar really, really blew up today, man. That sucker, man, it just knocked the snot out of every currency on the planet except for the hard currencies, gold and silver. Silver and uh, gold were pretty steady today against the dollar, but the dollar ramped up to 103.7, guys. And if you don't know what that means, that means that the dollar is, you know, just far and away the strongest currency on the planet. But the problem is we have so much debt that if we have a strong dollar, it makes it harder to pay that debt. But let's be honest. We're not going to pay that debt. You guys know this. We're going to go ahead and inflate it away by giving everybody checks and bailing everybody out. And we're going to do all this stuff until the system implodes. And then they'll try it out something new. Okay? That's fine. We'll be ready for the new paradigm, especially if you're a stacker. And uh, I don't just stack metals, of course. I stack, you know, um, guns. And I stack ammo. And I stack food. And I stack all kinds of stuff. You saw the Everclear I stacked the other day. Because stacking is a multifaceted effort, okay? Um, a lot of things I stack that are not silver are actually insurance for my silver, which is insurance for my life in situations like these. It is going to be the money of choice once we get past all the paper and stuff and they need to try to reconfigure into something digital. In between time, it's going to be all about the metals. These metals right here, fractional gold, I see them as being ideal for things like medical bills. The things that are normally high ticket items in a paper paradigm when the dollar is working or the currency is working fine. Um, you have high dollar items like, you know, I don't know, set of tires. You have, you know, dental work. You have medical, you know, medical bills and stuff. Um, maybe, you know, you want to hire some private security if uh, your situation calls for it. These kind of pieces right here, especially during a hyperinflation, man, they are unbeatable. And in fact, I'll go ahead and give gold props over silver during a hyperinflation because it just, it packs so much wealth in such a small space. I mean, you can do really well with silver too, but it's just, I don't know, something about the gold, it just, it edges its way up over silver. I know I'm silver 5150 and I shouldn't say that, but it's true. And Monkey King's going to tell you why. It is because... Gold is completely indestructible. Completely. You can put it in the heart of a sun, take it out, and it's still gold. Silver is not that durable. However, silver does a lot more things. So, in terms of spending power, purchasing power for higher ticket items, you want your fractional gold. In terms of everyday spending, if you want to go to the farmer's market, or you want to get something, you know, um, you know, small, maybe, you know, tank of gas, or maybe, I don't know, uh, snacks, or you go to the movies... Then you want your fractional silver because it's going to handle those lower ticket items. But for the big ticket items, man, you want fractional gold. Fractional gold. Looking at the markets tonight. Um, I guess equities are down a little bit. Tomorrow we stand to have a gray Friday or a black Friday. Um, we'll see what happens. But, man, I tell you, the president's team, they're marching out. This is the United States, by the way. They're marching out every, what, couple of hours and giving us updates and stuff, which is cool. But it keeps the suspense going and it keeps people, you know, um, I guess wound up and trying to figure things out and going out shopping and buying stuff and everything like that. But a weird dynamic today. I was out at the stores. The stores were kind of empty. And there was activity in the stores, but not very very much activity on the road. It's like people are starting to get the idea of self-quarantine, um, as it were, or quarantine in place or what, whatever they call it. Not quarantine, but, you know, um, shelter in place or what have you. Um, and so they're not on the road as much. But guys, I tell you, man, I, um, I kind of... You know, I'm not concerned about the whole uh, quarantine thing because that's just going to be more videos for us. <laughs> we're going to be in touch with other. We're going to keep in, keep track of everything that's going on. We're going to enlighten each other and educate each other on what we're finding out about the situation, what we're finding out about the metals and stuff. I'm trying to think of something uh, weird that's going on in retail right now. And it's nothing really weird going on in retail except inventories are shrinking. And that's what I wanted to say. If you are thinking about buying, like tomorrow I plan on buying. It's going to be three twenty. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I get paid tomorrow. So I'm going to take $777.77 or thereabouts. And I'm going to make a purchase to see if we can crack something in this market because it seems impenetrable right now. It seems invincible right now. But what I would advise if you're going to do that is to try to find a good price over spot. And don't disregard Sovereign Coins because Sovereign Coins a lot of times will give you a better deal. Like there's some New Guinea coins on JM Bullion that are like $16, I think, or 15 and change. And they're Sovereign Coins. 
you know, I know it has the queen on it and all that stuff, but they're Sovereign Coins from New Guinea from the Perth Mint, and they're in the $15 range, man. And uh, I would like to see any rounds or uh, buffaloes or even eagles beat that. I don't think they can. So if you're going to bank for your buck. So don't disregard Sovereign Coins, and also try to avoid anything that says pre-sale, Okay. You don't want to go after the pre-sale stuff because anything can happen with that timeline. If things start to fall apart, you know, with the parcel system or with the just-in-time delivery system for precious metals or, you know, maybe their shipping, you know, a uh, uh, department or something like that at the, uh, at the bullion place, you, don't, you want to stay away from the, the pre-sale stuff. I mean, if there's nothing else and you want to go ahead and take a chance on it, go ahead and do that. But try to get the stuff that's on the rack right there that's available right then that's got a good price. And you should be just fine. It will take time to uh, get the stuff to you. You're going to get it faster, of course, if you use a credit card. But you're going to pay a premium if you do. And um, then if you use like the e-check or the check, then of course it'll be a longer wait time. But you will get your stuff because they, ha they have it right there. And so you just got to be patient. All right. I think I covered everything. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning with some really, really cool silver. And uh, we'll talk about what the markets are doing and see if we're going to have a Gray Friday, a Black Friday, or if it's going to be lights out coming into the weekend because man the numbers are stacking up and you know what i'm talking about the cerveza sickness and uh we want to try to do the right thing taking care of people and taking care of us and our stacks all right guys thumbs up share subscribe if you like this content and we'll see you in the morning